And of course, you have me, Mara Luna Miko Rivas, uh, from the Multicultural Committee in West New York, New Jersey. And we are talking to Miss Maria Dominguez because she is a woman, she is Puerto Rican, and she is my friend. <laughs> and we are reading your book in my classroom, Miss Maria. Um, we're reading The Art of Memory and um, the book that you made with um, uh, Raquel um, Ortiz. And, and um, we watch that on the big screen and the children are enjoying it. This is the one that reminds me of oh, Sophie. Oh my God, how beautiful, beautiful you look Don't there. I look nice with this hat? Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yes, ma'am. Ma and I feel Puerto Rican and like from... <laughs> And I feel like um, it's part of like that book, Sophie and the um, right. It's and, part of my hat. hat. Right, yeah. right. And a friend of mine gave me this hat. And yeah. then I have this other hat over here. Um, this this is the other crazy hat that. <laughs> oh my God! Look at you. <laughs> I just I just I was like, do, let me see. Do you have a hat so we can take a picture for crazy hat? I want to get you, I really want to get you into the classroom with the children and the high school students. I would love if you would um, uh, show us how you paint uh, murals and um, how you how we can have a public art space right in our own school. <laughs> we have a parking lot. We have plenty of walls in right. West Side. Even, 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 even if we don't do it on the wall. Because, because of, of our, our seasons, seasons that change right. the world. We, we can even do it on a board where you can move it around, around the room or share it with the other classroom. classroom. Because, because murals, oh, although they are meant, meant to be on walls, I mean, the word mural is walls in French, uh, you, you can make it portable. So, so we can think of ways to, 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 to do exciting things. Yes. And that's natural the little the little character Sophie in the book um, we call her um, we, she looks a lot like the little girl Maria um, in in the art of memory are they the same girl yes, yes. Uh, I, I think, think that, that uh, as, as a child, child uh, uh, I, I wanted, wanted to be like her because she was so I never, never used to see, see myself, myself in movies. Right. I, I never used, used to see, see myself in, in, in uh, characters, characters on television. television. And, and when I had this wonderful birth uh, gift, gift that, that uh, you know, know, I was born, born with, I, as, as soon as, as I started, started drawing, drawing I, I, started I started drawing images of, of, of what might look like, like me. Or, or little girls, girls that, that look like me. So, so yes, yes, it, it is, is me, me, but it's really every, every little, little girl, girl out there that looks like me. And I, uh, West New York is predominantly a Latino community. It's almost like um, Loisaida. They, yeah. they have, it's home. very, very, yes, it feels like home. I love working there because it reminds me of my own hometown. And my students connected to your, to your work. And well, we asked the children, um, we said, how did you, how do you think little Maria felt when she first came to New York City from the art of memory, right? Yes. yes uh, uh, yeah. uh, the, the art, art of memory, memory uh, uh, the, the publisher, publisher who told me and said, said they, were they were going to do the book about, about early children's memories. memories. And, and to, to pick, pick out of all those memories, memories which, which one, one was, was the most outstanding, outstanding? and then to illustrate it. Well, I know, I know that my, my earliest memory was coming to New York and, and getting off the plane and, and getting on a bus and, and looking, looking at all these tall buildings, buildings and, and finally I reached Third, third Street uh, in the lower Manhattan in Lloyd Side up. And, and just looking, looking around, around and saying, wait a minute, this is not home. home. Right. It, was, right. it, was, it was a little cold, cold. it was busy. busy. And, and I said, I, I want to go back home. Um, what 
when did you know maria um that that you wanted to be an artist were you small like little maria or was it like when you became a teenager mm. it, it was, was automatic, automatic. When, when I was growing, growing up in the Lower East Side, there was a lot, lot of stuff, stuff happening in the streets. Right. Tough. Yeah. yeah. So you, you had, had to really, really be a, a tough, tough cookie, cookie yeah. to grow, grow up in the Lower East Side. Side. Right. And um, um, my, my mother, who was very, very loving, yeah. but a little yeah. overprotective, mm, would, would say, you're, you're not going, going outside today, today because today there's, there's a bunch of kids from, from across the street, the street that are being noisy and loud, and I don't want my little girl to do Okay. So, this happened, happened often. often. So, so what I started, I started doing was using, using the bag, bag of my notebook, notebook to mm. start sketching. Wow. And in those, those sketches, sketches, I started, I started creating characters. I gave them names. names. Mm. And, and then I would create these stories with these characters that I created. So, so it just came as a, a way, way to entertain, entertain myself, myself because then I, I wasn't allowed to see TV too much either, either because that, that would disrupt my, my school work. Mm. So, so the way, way to keep myself busy and entertained was, was to create characters, give them names, and, names and make stories, stories up with these, these little characters. characters. Wow, and that book, okay. Right. So, so wherever, wherever the homework was, was oh, in between, between those, those pages, pages, I used to make a lot, lot of drawings. drawings. And, 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 and the best part, part about this was, was that, that as, As my, my teachers, teachers were uh, grading me and looking through my, my notebook, they, they would spot these drawings. drawings. And, and they, they would say, Maria, you, you tell, tell your, your mother, mother that you have talent. talent. Wow, well, that must have made you feel special. It, it really was, because, because by the time, time I went to the third, third grade, grade, all, all the, the other teachers, teachers already, already knew about, about the talented talent little, little Maria. Maria. Wow. And, and so, so as a reward for doing, doing all my homework on time and, and for being extra good in class, they, they would allow me to sit in the back of the room on an easel and then paint for, for about 30, 30 minutes every, every other day. day. Oh, How fun, fun was that? that? <laughs> and your artwork brought you to stardom. That's great. That's wonderful. Well that, well, that that is a very story, and I can't wait to hear some more uh, inspiring stories. Um, anything, any, any advice you want to give to our pre-K students, oh, maybe dear. even our high school students, if oh. they feel like they want to start drawing or painting? Um, any anything that that you yes. can think of? I think I think, I think the, the best, best tool in the planet, planet is a pencil. pencil. Okay. And then when I started teaching and I used to go into the schools and all, all grades, uh, the children used to say, but I don't have a painting, a paint, paint so I can paint at home. Right, right. And, and I said, you know, you know what? what? Watch what, what I can do with this pencil. pencil. And, and when, when I taught, I taught them, them how that you make a line, line that, that you can make a, a shading, that, that you can then build, build with, with lines and create with lines, lines. They, they said, oh, oh, I don't need, need a paint, paint set, set. I, I have a pencil. pencil. And, and then their homework was to bring a sketch every, every other, other day, day so, so I could give them comments. Wow, so they don't need fancy easels or 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 canvases, no paints. They could just Imagination. question, what's your favorite color to use? Ooh, that's so, so hard because, because I would, would say, say automatically blue. blue. Okay. Because, because the sky, sky is blue, blue the, the ocean, ocean is blue. Yes. And I'm a blue person. person. However, However, just, just lately, lately, I discovered, discovered yellow. yellow. Ooh, yellow, yellow sunshine, sunshine. Oh, yellow, yellow of happiness. happiness. Yes. Yellow to make, make the room bright. bright. And, and maybe it's because we've been indoors so long, long that I'm looking forward to yellow, yellow sunshine. sunshine. <laughs> Got your favorite color down. And um and what are you uh, what are you are you working on anything um new right now? I certainly am, Maraluna, and I couldn't wait, wait to tell, tell you. Oh, right, right now, I am writing a story about an adult, adult story, story about the murals that, that I did in the Lower East Side. Oh, that's exciting! Yes, yes. and what, what I'm going to do as soon as this is over, I'm going to send you that story in your email. Oh my goodness. So now this is more for adults. Okay, and any of the teachers are adults. 
Yes. <laughs> Even though we don't, you know. Yes. And I'm also doing people. a portrait of Evelina Antonetti. And who Lisa. is this? This woman is one of the actresses that I love. Yes. Yeah. 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 And she created bilingual learning. Wow, we have she to have was, a mural of her. She really was a, a warrior, and she said those children that are coming in that can only speak one language are not learning, and they were putting them in special ed classes. Right, I, right. I did hear about that, yeah. Yes, and then what she did is she said, why don't we start a bilingual program? And voila, it started in South Bronx, and now the whole nation really is happy that this woman was a warrior in her time. So I'm doing a portrait of her because we're going, going to be celebrating our 100th birthday. And I would love to invite you. I totally want to go. And we'll have 10 artists who have her portrait. And it will be a big party for this woman. She's not with us anymore, but 10 portraits by really great artists and a big party to celebrate what she did for the whole nation. Wow, this is great. I'm super, super, super excited about that. And I can't wait to see the invitation in the mail yeah. or my email. And also, you know what? Um, I love music too, Maria. Music, uh, a favorite song that you like or an I instrument. Love music. instrument. I love music. Uh, and I, if you go into my website, if you take the children to the website, mm -hmm. I have a whole... Um, series of works that I call the Hot House Series. Okay. The Hot House is after jazz, American jazz. And I was inspired by the jazz music. And whenever I was painting these paintings, I was listening to jazz. We have to set the pace for our kids to see their heroes in books, to see their heroes in movies, to see their heroes as teachers, to see uh, ourselves in, in, in playing the main roles, but, right? right? If you, you have a choice, you get up and you say, I want to be a teacher, or I want to be a doctor. Or an artist. I said, I want to be an artist. Right.